Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Have you guys ever downloaded a FLIV file? <laughs> a flash video file? Possibly extracted it from uh, a website at some point? You know the videos that we record here at live.perlo.com uh, are through ustream.tv. They're the people that uh, allow me to stream my life 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Of course, I do different things with my video, like include the topic, the date, and the chat, and the links, and everything, blah, 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 blah. So, once you have these FLV files, what do you do with them? Well, you need some kind of viewer, right? And maybe you installed something like the Adobe Media Player, which should be fully capable of viewing those FLV files. But let's say you say you want to extract the audio from the video file. What do you do? How do you get, let's say, an MP3 out of that FLV. It's not always easy to do, but there's an application, an Adobe Air application, which you know we've talked about before. Uh, I found just this weekend was looking for really interesting Air applications that would run on my desktop as well as anybody else's desktop as long as it supported the Air framework from Adobe, which is free, is another piece of freeware called Rich FLV. Rich FLV. That's one Word, you can download it or install it immediately so long as you already have Air installed. And again, that's free on Adobe's website. Just go to richapps.de. That's R I C H A P P S dot D E. And with Rich FLV, you can open up any FLV file and export information from that FLV. You can export it as an FLV. FLV sound only. Audio, MP3 export, so it'll tear that away. You can convert that FLV into an SWF, so it's ready to be played back in any web browser. You could export it in XML, and that would be if you set cue points, which you can do here from this application. Or if you wanted to save an image from that FLV file, you could either drag and drop this. Here, watch. I'll show you. You can drag and drop it out of the window, and it'll create the image. And now I've created that on my desktop here. And here I'll do a little quick view. See, created the image there. That's the image. Or I could, you know, save it out as a JPEG or a ping. I could also import if I, you know, didn't have, you know, an FLV to start with. I could import an MP3 if I wanted to, or import cue points to be synchronized with the FLV. Uh, there are a variety of options in here, including maintaining the aspect ratio. That's not as exciting as what I think uh, some of the core features of this particular utility are. They're going to be able, th this particular type of application is going to give you, uh, well, a better understanding of the metadata inside the FLV. Because other than seeing, well, it's an FLV file, you don't know uh, necessarily who it was created by, the date, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This will read the metadata inside the FLV file and display it right here in the side column. You can even add metadata to it if you wanted to or if you, you know, knew what you were doing with uh, working in a basic capacity with FLV files. But, you know, I think the strongest, uh, I guess, reason to run this is not only is it free, but you may happen upon an FLV file, want to extract the sound out of it, there's going to be no easier way than using rich FLV. Because FLV is like one of those file formats that unless you have a viewer for it, you really can't do anything with it. And the viewer's there, you just gotta know where to find it. And uh, this, of course, is an Adobe Air application, which means it should run cross-platform. And uh, the guy has also programmed a few other Air apps. He's really, really good. And in fact, I, I wish he'd release more of his creations because he's talked about you know, what he's working on now, uh, richapps.de. I've kind of become addicted to Adobe Air. You know, I came out and said a few weeks ago, I was like, ah, no one needs Adobe Air. All the apps suck. And, and granted, some of the applications don't look all that good. Rich FLV looks great. It looks fantastic. It runs well. Uh, you know, I, I just threw what I believe is an edge case FLV into it. Um, this is an FLV that we recorded live, pretty much. Uh, it's the, the Spore video that we did just uh, yesterday. Uh, it, it gives me everything I want. It's a player, it's a viewer, it's in uh, somewhat of an editor, uh, you know, setting cue points as well as, uh, you know, being able to add or, you know, read metadata. Uh, I could set keyframes or at least look at keyframes for the timestamp and the file position specifically. I mean, it's just nice to have this because you never know when you're going to need it. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of another interesting Adobe Air app that we could take a look at. Maybe you know of... Uh, 
Well, let's see here. Any other file viewers that are seemingly for edge cases? Maybe you work with FLV files on a regular basis, or maybe you're going to start now that you know that rich FLV exists. Who knows? You're also welcome to stop by the chat room, which is being done in conjunction with this live video feed. And we do record videos. This video that's being recorded is being recorded in FLV format. will be transcoded into MP4 format so that people can watch it on their iPhone, their Zoom, etc. But uh, you really don't care about that, do you? Okay, fine. If you're a geek, you like talking about hardware, software, internet, tweaking, whatever, feel free to stop on by, say hello. We're live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.